live and let's keep conversating and talking now i we have a gentleman in studio who is doing such great things in the film industry and i'd say that i need to ask him this question first because there's people who don't believe me that i actually that I actually i was with him in harvard law school kenyan version copyright class so mr Timothy Owase, is it true? I want you to say this for my producer. Was I in class with you, Harvard Law School? Indeed, we were together. Good, because yes. my, my producer has been thinking that I've been lying. They're, just because I mingle with them here, mm -hmm. they don't know that I, I know copyright stuff, but thank you All so right. much for coming through. It's my pleasure. It's a pleasure to see you. Yeah. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, my Kenya, my story right. in a short while. But before we get right into that, mm -hmm. um, how is COVID treating you? How are you? in this in this uh, season of, of course uh, covid has created a lot of uh, opportunities and challenges mm -hmm. especially for us in the art space but uh, it's a challenge that we can collectively deal with mm. and i believe many artists and kenyans are dealing with covid because it is here to stay yeah so we have to be ready to deal with it as it comes good and i'm glad yes. that uh, at mm -hmm. least you're here with us and mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about my kenya my story which mm -hmm. is a mobile phone film competition where ordinary kenyans submitted their the short films they recorded and edited using their phones this is the fourth edition the short listing was done and kenyans have the opportunity to vote for their film of choice from which various winners will be picked and awarded Kenyans can watch the short-listed films uh, by going to the Kenya Film Commission YouTube channel and use the shared link to vote. So please run on there. I've watched a couple of films. I've spoken to some of the directors and the producers, and there's a lot of great stuff from young people there. Now, the voting ends on Monday, the 14th of June, after which the award ceremony will be held exclusively on NTV next Friday, the 18th of June, where we're going to be awarding. Where as we speak, we have nine finalists. We're going to be awarding them with, for example, the number one goes on with 200,000 Kenya shillings. And that's why we need to get into this conversation. Why a mobile phone film um, competition? Thank you very much. You know, when we talk about screen industries or the film industry, we cannot ignore the aspect of uh, technology and innovation. Mm -hmm. And today, when we, you, you imagine producing a film using the, the traditional kind of equipment, they are very expensive yeah. to access. But with technology using your mobile phone, you can be able to access the very softwares that you can be able to edit your, your product mm -hmm. and still have it accessible to the market without having to spend so much money on purchasing heavy equipment. Yeah. So by use of a mobile or a smartphone, you are able to take pictures, edit these particular pictures, put them into motion, tell your story in the very best way you want to do. Yeah. Last month we had the Kalasha International Film and TV Market. Mm -hmm. And during this particular market, we brought in uh, an Indian expert on mobile filmmaking, mm -hmm. who did a workshop that was very special to the many ordinary Kenyans who are yearning to join this particular sector. Yeah. And as we do this, and you rightfully put it, that we, this is the fourth edition. Yes. From edition one to where we are today, there is high demand for stories told by Kenyans. Mm. And the best way to open up this space so that those who are yearning to join the industry can be able to, to join us for government to be able to support them through Kenya Film Commission. But also they're, they're taking the initiative to use what they have around them. That Other than it. complain, we don't have cameras, but use what you have at hand, which is a phone. That is it. What has been the impact of the competition over the last four years? First of all, we've had so many young people join the industry. They've been able to get information on how to go about filmmaking as a business, not mm -hmm. just as an entertainment mm -hmm. uh, aspect. And also to get acquainted with the necessary information. Through this particular program, we are able to identify gaps and tailor make programs that are geared towards supporting the local film industry. Mm. Because that's why the commission was established to promote and market Kenya as a, a filming destination. Yeah. We cannot succeed in marketing Kenya as a filming destination if we do not have the right tools yes. or the, the, the right impetus as far as skills in the market uh, well-mapped locations, as well as 
the right incentives for the film to thrive. Mm. All these are some of the key programs that the Commission is putting forth in order to spur growth within the industry. And what are some of the partnerships that have made this competition a success? Of course, as we do this, last year we had uh, Multi-Choice Kenya. Mm. Uh, this year we are working closely with NTV mm -hmm. as well as CDI Gadgets. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are also calling upon other key partners to join us as we endeavor to take forth various film industry initiatives. Mm. We have other programs that the Commission is running, for example, the Empowerment Program, where we are putting seed money to various projects, depending on how you apply and whether you've been able to meet your criteria. Yeah. And when we do this, the intention is to open up space to create job opportunities within the sector, which is coming up very well. Other than that, we would like Kenyans to tell stories the best way possible. Yeah. And that's why we have also come up with a program called uh, the R Kalasha Writers Hub. Mm -hmm. Why Kalasha Writers Hub? For a very long time, we've had many Kenyan stories told, but not told the best way we want them to be told. Yes. So we would like our stories to be told in an, a very authentic manner. Mm. And that's why Kalasha Writers Hub is here to tailor make our writers to tell our story the best way we want. Yeah. Stories that can be able to go global. And with the technology, anyone can be able to access content on their mobile device. And at the same time, you as an artist, you can be able to monetize your content yeah. without struggling that you must have your film in a cinema theater. Yeah. Yes. Before we talk about the monetary awards, I know that mm -hmm. you're a dad. Mm -hmm. Are you able to keep up with your children and this mobile phone? Or now you're telling them, ah, may run this competition. You cannot. I know how to deal with this thing. Are you able to keep up with them when they're on TikTok? You know, yeah. uh, I have to really keep up with them because yeah. this is the trend. Yeah. And remember, we are on the trend show. Uh -huh. What that means, my kids are growing as young teenagers. Yeah who want to join the creative sector. Yes. My son wants to be a game developer, mm -hmm. and that's what he's studying, nice. to basically develop games that can be accessed by the world. Wow. And for that to happen, I have to be part of that process. You have to keep up. So I'm, I'm keeping up with yeah. him yeah. and doing my very best to yeah. ensure that he's able to get to that level. And um, mm -hmm. what advice do you have? You're talking about us telling our stories, mm -hmm. um, because I want us to leave the money part later mm. because you know we, mm. we keep the stew the juice mm -hmm. for later mm. anyone with a phone and mm. we're talking about kenya and branding mm. kenya and putting mm. kenya out there what do you advise anyone with a phone with or without a competition what should they be doing in terms of making sure that they actually promote this country basically kenya is a beautiful country we have so many untold stories using your phone your smartphone you can be able to capture anything good about your environment yes wherever you are our heritage, we have very beautiful sceneries, stories in each and every corner of this particular country you can yes. be able to tell. Yeah. Uh, capture your story, edit it, share with the, the public. I believe that uh, the story that you capture, when well told, yeah. can be accessed by majority. Yeah. And when you do that, it will be one way of moving yourself from just taking pictures yeah to storytelling using mm -hmm. the gadget that you have without having to spend so much money. Being very intentional. Exactly. Um, let's mm -hmm. talk about, a bit about the budget. And uh, mm -hmm. the, I don't think the creative industry is mm -hmm. uh, always really encapsulated in the budget. Mm -hmm. um, what measures or what steps do we take to be able to, to fight for that space when the budget is being read? We're sure that we have a lot uh, of money or support in the Kenyan uh, government. Thank you. Yeah. First of all, let us appreciate that uh, the government has acknowledged the importance of this sector. Mm -hmm. And during this COVID era, many governments across the world are actually driving recovery of their economies through this particular sector. Yes. During COVID-19, this is the time when you've seen most VODs mm -hmm. making so much money. Yes. Why? Because there is demand for content we cannot afford to be left behind. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Kenya government is now putting what we call the legal framework in place to govern this screen sector. Yes. We're also looking at establishing through that legal framework a film fund which will enable producers to access money that will be able to help them produce their stories. Yeah. Other than that, co-production agreements with other countries so that we expand 
our markets. You can imagine if we, we are able to access the Chinese market, mm. and let's say you produce a product which can be able to be accessed by 400 million Chinese at a cost of $10. Yeah. That in itself is revenue that we can be able to gain as a country yeah. if well harnessed. So we are looking at opportunities in every corner. So the government, through Kenya Film Commission, we are committed to see to it that we give the creative artists their space mm -hmm. to express themselves and also through that expression that you are able to create economic gains to your environment. I like that. I like when you yes. talk about economic gains, therefore, mm. my Kenya, my story, yes. um, the nine shortlisted uh, filmmakers and films, right. uh, they have a chance to make some money. Let's talk about the monetary awards and some <laughs> yes. of the special mentions probably you'd like to talk about. Thank you very much. First of all, I would like to appreciate the fact that this year, like no other, we were able to receive 138 entries. Mm, Out wow. of these 138 entries, they actually came from across 47 counties. Mm -hmm. we, we got these entries from 17 co counties. Wow. Of course, our intention is to ensure that each county is involved in this art space. Mm -hmm. Uh, from 138, we came up with a jury. This jury was able to nominate nine, which are currently out there for yeah. public to view and uh, really vote. Mm. So the best three will be able to win. The first one going home with 200,000. Then 150,000. Uh -huh. Then the third will get mm -hmm. uh, 100,000. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's not the end. CDI gadgets which is uh, a company that promotes use of mobile uh, smartphones when it comes to production of content, will be giving out goodies as far as mobile telephony gear for you to be able to produce your content using. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. And as we conclude, I know we have a mm -hmm. bit of feedback, but uh, mm -hmm. someone has just uh, texted and mm -hmm. asked mm -hmm. for anyone who wants to know, mm -hmm. you know, who wants to just walk into Kenya Film Commission yes. um, on Lenana Road, do they just calling, walking, mm -hmm. uh, do you allow to see them? You know, how receptive are you to anyone? To First of all, you? the most important thing to note is that this is a public office. Yes. It is your office. Yes. You should never have any fear mm -hmm. to walk into Kenya Film Commission yes. for government services. Yes. We have even gone a notch higher yeah. that you can actually access us on e-citizen. Yeah. There is what we call e-film shop. Yeah. The intention of e-film shop, which has been developed by the commission, is to ease access to service delivery from Kenya Film Commission mm. and other government agencies. Yeah. For example, in the near future, when you are seeking to access a filming license, you need not to walk into an office where you have to meet someone to get this particular service. Yes. You go on your phone, mm -hmm. you log in to yeah. e-citizen, e-film shop, then you should be able to transact and access these services. So I would encourage anyone who is watching the trend tonight yes. that Kenya Film Commission is a public office, yes. meaning it's your office, yes. you can walk in any time. For me, you don't have to seek for an appointment to come and see me. Yes. If you came to our office on Lenana Road and I'm in the office, I should be able to see you without any conditions. I like that. Yes. And, I, and I've, I've, I've interacted with you a couple of times. I was in class with you. You're a, right. uh, an, uh, you're a gentle giant. And <laughs> thank, thank you, you once again for your time. Much Do you want to say a shout out to your kids? Are they watching? Are they, uh, you've made sure they slept before. Uh, they have homework. Are they watching? You want to say hi to them? I know my son is watching. Uh -huh. And I uh, just want to encourage him to become the game developer he's yearning to become. That's what's up. Yes. We're going to go on a short commercial break. When we come back, we've got more lined up for you. Keep it locked.